next uh, car of any kind. The Model S. This is an ambitious goal to create a whole new kind of car. A lot of Wall Street is betting Tesla can't get it done. Yeah, so a quickest production car, to be clear, of, of any kind ever made, like I said, first to ever break the two second barrier. And then in terms of additional stats, uh, it's also the, the fastest production car to complete a quarter mile, so 9.23 seconds. Uh, it's got a 200 mile an hour top speed, uh, a thousand, over a thousand horsepower, almost 400 mile range, like I said, uh, charges uh, so fast, uh, you, you know, it'll be probably done by the time you have a copy, basically. Uh, we have an, an all new battery pack um, and then something we're really proud of is the new carbon sleeved rotors for the motor. So this is the first time that, uh, there's a, to the best of our knowledge, there's been a, a production electric motor that has, that has a carbon overwrap rotor. So it, the, the RPM is so crazy that just the centrifugal force wants to expand the rotor. So the carbon overwrap actually holds the the rotor to, basically holds the rotor together. <laughs> it's, like, it's like madness. We also were able to achieve the uh, lowest drag coefficient of any car ever made. So, yeah. We also have the latest uh, and greatest uh, in heat pump, which is the basically the HVAC system for the car. Uh, it's 30% better cold weather range uh, and requires 50% less energy for cabin heating and freezing conditions. Um, yeah, so it's, you'll see very little degradation in cold weather. Um, and the radiator is uh, twice as big for heat rejection, so you'll be able to actually do back-to-back 0-60s, -to um, go on the track, just haul ass, and uh, as you'll see tonight, this car is just going to be over and over again, and it doesn't get winded. And then it's, it's also engineered for uh, maximum safety as well. So, uh, in fact, this is designed to be the, uh, our aspiration for this car. Um, it still has to be tested by the U.S. government, but uh, we think we can uh, get the, the lowest probability of injury of any car ever tested. With the Plaid Model S, what you have is a car that is uh, faster than, than, quicker than any sports car, uh, and it's like faster than any, any Porsche, safer than any Volvo, in the same car. And, and then we've made, we've completely redone the interior. So we, I think when, once you drive the, the new Model S, it really feels like you're driving the future. Um, and uh, other cars are going to, especially in, like non-Tesla cars, are going to feel very last century. Um, as you can see, we changed the orientation of the main screen, so it's easier to watch movies and that kind of thing um, in landscape. Yeah, <laughs> we, we have the, this yoke steering wheel, which is a little different, but I think once you try it, you'll think this is, it's it's great. Um, the you, you, your the visibility uh, of the, the the main screen. Is, is super clear, especially for uh, autopilot. So you can see the entire panoramic view of, you can basically see the mind's eye of the car. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. You know, I think generally um, all input is error. So we, we want, if, if you have to do something that the car could have done already, uh, that should be taken care of. The software should just do it. So you can actually just literally walk up to the car, it senses that you're approaching, unlocks the car based on your phone, it just basically pairs with your phone, knows that you're coming to the car, opens the door, it op op extends the handle, you sit down, and you just drive. You don't, you don't have to uh, press the drive or anything like that. The car knows you want to drive. It figures like, yeah, good guess. So uh, we've re redesigned the, the interior, we've moved the interior so that the, the, um, the, 
The front IP is actually uh, slimmer and thinner, so we're able to move the, uh, the, the front seats forward, giving more room to the back seat. And we uh, reclined the back seat more and uh, reduced the interior trim. So uh, basically, the, the, you know, the current Model S, the back seat is not amazing, but the new one, uh, it's actually a legit back seat, I'd say. <laughs> uh, inductive, uh, dual inductive chargers uh, for your phones in the back and dual inductive in the, in the front. Um, and it's a 36 watt power supply, so you can actually charge like your, you know, laptop or anything. Basically, it's got it's a 36 watt uh, USB-C. We in, instead of having air vents, uh, we use intersecting uh, columns of air. So and we just vary the uh, the speed of the air. So you don't have to. There's, there's no vents um, that you can see, uh, and you can just touch the screen and move the screen around, and it'll it'll just move the air wherever you want it. And then the 17-inch touchscreen is, it feels like a, a movie theater. The, the sound is incredible. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so we, we have an old new uh, sound system designed by Tesla Audio. Um, with, uh, and we have acoustic glass throughout the car. So the car is very quiet when going down the highway. Even at very high speeds, like you're like doing like 100 miles an hour, still quiet. <laughs> um, and th this is a Tesla designed uh, codec, so uh, it will keep uploading improved versions uh, of the sound system. It's, it's, it's completely software defined. So we'll, we'll keep tweaking it and dynamically adjusting to whether uh, you're using uh, so streaming or whether it's coming via Bluetooth from your phone or uh, different streaming services. Uh, it'll actually, and if, if the data rate changes, it'll adapt that. So basically, it always sounds good. And then we've got an all new UI. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, anyway, the UI is uh, like basically easy to move around, uh, expand, contract, uh, shift music to the left, to, to the right, um, and we're going to keep improving it. So, uh, it it's basically feels like a like a modern tablet or phone. Um, so, so um, there's, I think never there really there's never been a car that has state of the art. Uh, computing technology, state-of-the-art infotainment, where uh, this is literally uh, at the level of a, of a PlayStation 5. It can play Cyberpunk. So this is somebody playing the car right now. This is so, <laughs> play, playing live. All right, so uh, we got uh, uh, incredible performance, interior of the future. I think uh, engineering, that's practically alien. Um, so, uh, like I said, the you know simultaneously the safest car in the world and the fastest. It's, this is insane. So, we also got like look at some things like the uh, the power curve. So, the, I think this really illustrates the difference. It maintains uh, a thousand horsepower all the way up to uh, uh, 200 miles an hour.